Uh, I feel like I should stop recording these intros right after I wake up because my voice sounds so sleepy and I don't want to immortalize <laughs> my sleepy face on my vlog channel. Hello everyone, it's Heather once again and today is Saturday the 31st of July. I am all by my lonesome because Connor is at a wedding. Kilo was stop. Stop, buddy. So basically, Connor's not with me, but today I thought I would do something fun. I thought I would go to downtown. We don't really go downtown a lot because I know that Connor doesn't like to go downtown either. I mean, I don't blame him. It is a whole event to go down there. It's only like about 10 miles away, but the traffic is awful. So it could differ from, like with no traffic, it's about 18 minutes. But normally to get there, it's like an hour, an hour and a half. But today I think I'm ready to make the trip. So I planned all the things I want to do. I'm gonna kind of go downtown to the bookstore and the coffee shop and then head a little northeast to um or north west <laughs> go east go east toward downtown and then go a little northwest to filipino town i'm so directionally challenged so that's what we're doing today and let's go get changed Okay, when I bought this hat, I was kind of hoping for like the boho kind of look and it's more like cowboy right now, but honestly, I don't even mind. So I just checked, it's gonna be about a 25 minute drive to get to our first stop and then everything is more or less near each other. Alexa, what's the weather in downtown LA today? In Los Angeles, California, it's 75 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly sunny skies. Perfect, oh my gosh, it's a gorgeous day, so let's not waste any more daylight. I love LA! I love LA! This is a one-way street and this is the first time I've parallel parked on like the left side where the curb is on the driver's side. Uh, we are just around the block of the first stop which is Nimbus Coffee, a Harry Potter themed coffee shop and I am beyond excited to try it and get my fill of Harry Potter and just drink, my magical drink. That was absolutely adorable. Everyone was so nice. They all genuinely love Harry Potter. They're like making all these jokes. They love talking about it and it was so cute. The drink was cute, the place was cute. The only thing I would say is there was so much sugar that I couldn't finish either the drink or the pastry. I should have gotten just one. But other than that, it was adorable. The next stop is the last bookshop. So I'm really excited to go see some books. And here's the surprise stop I didn't tell you guys about. No, I'm just kidding.
Why did I go to film school when I could have just gotten this book? This, this is just everything I need to know. I didn't get a chance to tell you guys about the bookshop because I had parked in a parking garage and I couldn't really sit in the car and talk about it. But it was really fun. It is just so nice to walk around and look at all the books. I also couldn't find a lot of the books that I wanted, but I'm pretty happy with the ones I got. So the first book I picked up is If Cats Disappeared from the World by Genki Kuomura. There's so much about Japanese fiction that dives into characters and kind of the beauty and the mundane, so I'm really excited about this book. The next one I picked up I had never heard of, but I really liked the inside cover. It is a memoir, In Order to Live, and it's about a woman that lived in North Korea and she escaped. And apparently the story is really amazing, it was highly rated, so I decided to pick it up. I think that's really interesting. And lastly, The Song of Achilles, which is pretty thick. I really hope I get a chance to read this before 2025. But I've been hearing about this book so much. People really love it. It's literally like about Greek mythology characters, but apparently you don't even have to know anything about Greek mythology to enjoy the book. And I happen to know a decent amount about Greek mythology, so I'm pretty excited about it. Now we are in historic Filipino town. I didn't really get to explore it yet. I'm at the restaurant and I'm gonna go eat. And um, it was highly rated online, so let's go get some Filipino food. So I got my food. Um, it seems like they used to have this place all decorated, at least according to online, looking at all the photos. This place was really decorated to look like the Philippines, but it looks like things are like boarded up and closed up. I think they just opened for seating, and I'm actually the only one here, and it feels very private right now, but I actually love it. It's so perfect. I'm starting to feel a little tired from being out in the city all day. So it's actually really comforting to just sit here with my most comfort food in the world, Filipino food and I kind of be alone and I just, I don't know, I feel like I'm in my backyard eating food right now. And that's where all the Filipinos work. All the nurses. So I've been driving around and this town is just so small. It's just a little, oh, there's a dog. Anyway, um, it's actually, a lot of it is closed right now. I really wanted to see the Hi-Fi like historical cultural center, which is right behind me, but it's actually closed. And I wanted to find the Filipino LA mural, which I can't seem to find. I don't know if there's much more to see here. I might just head over to my next stop. Okay, new plan, I just found a mural online and it's right next to one of my favorite boba franchises in the world. So we're gonna go get boba and look at the mural. <laughs>
Papa guys. Mm. So good. Nang punta ako sa historic Filipino town Kaninang Hapon. How bad did I butcher that? I was gonna stop at Echo Park, but it's kind of hot outside and I've spent a decent amount outside. I think I'll go to Echo Park with Connor, but I do have one more stop before our day ends and that is going to be Cantrip Candles. I'm so excited. It's the Dungeons and Dragons candle place. Let's go. This is super adorable. I got two candles. I can't wait to show them to you, but I'm gonna do that when we get home. But yeah, let's go home. The boys are gonna be hungry soon. I'm home. Hi, Cohen. Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. What they see, what they don't see. All right, we are home. It is almost six o'clock and I think we had a pretty full day. <laughs> I wanted to show you the candles I got from Cantrip Candles. I got two of them because we love candles here, especially since we're here all the time. Um, this one is a walk in the woods and it smells exactly like what you would imagine. I'm really excited to use this one. And there is a D20, which is like a, a dice that has 20 sides that's used in Dungeons and Dragons in here. So when we finish it, We'll have a D20, which I think is really cool. And then I got a smaller version of Sanctuary, which is so, it is so good. It's so relaxing and it's a ginger incense and saffron, apparently. And because I spent a certain amount of money, I got a cute little matchbox, which is freaking adorable. So I'm actually drawing a bath right now and I think I'm going to light my Sanctuary candle with my matchbox and read a little bit one of the three books I got today. So yeah, I'd say overall today was a pretty fun Saturday. Um, I got a lot done. I got to see a lot of cool things. I went out and about in LA. I got some sun, which I really wanted. And yeah, it was nice. And now I'm gonna spend the rest of my night relaxing and playing games. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Say goodbye, Kilua. Goodbye. Bye.